Hi guys, welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 26200.5670. And you may notice that we finally have the version 25H2 on the dev channel. Of course, in this video, we're going to talk about a few things related to Windows 11 25H2, what we can expect, but things are clear. Windows 11 version 25H2 is clearly stated on the dev channel and it is here on the dev channel. In this video, as always, apart from that, we're going to talk about new features and changes that are are available with this build and if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video so as i've said first of all if you go to system and then in the about section in the latest build from the dev channel you may notice that we now have the version 25h2 according to microsoft this denotes that windows 11 version 25h2 will be this year's annual feature update and this will be of course an update for the second half of the calendar year somewhere in September or October as with every year. Of course, Microsoft provides more information about this and you can check that out in the article below or on the official Microsoft blog post. But Microsoft is also stating that updating or upgrading to Windows 11 25H2 will be as quick as a restart if you are on the version 24H2. And that is because Windows 11 24H2 and 25H2 use a shared servicing branch, which basically means that new features that Microsoft develops for Windows 11 version 25H2 are part of the version 24 for H2 branch. When the new code is complete, Microsoft includes it in the monthly updates for Windows 11 24H2 in a disabled state. That code remains disabled on the device until it receives basically the green flag to be enabled. And basically, when you restart your device, the new feature will become enabled and you will be officially on Windows 11 25H2. So this is basically the way that the 25H2 update will take place later this year. So all things said, we finally get some mentions from Microsoft related to Windows 11 25H2. And of course, whenever I have more information, I'm going to talk about features that are related to 25H2 or that will be enabled only on 25H2. So now let's move on to some other features and changes in this build. First of all, we have some passwordless improvements. Yet again, if you go into the settings app and then you go into accounts, then you scroll down to pass keys and then advanced options. Of course, here you're going to be able to set up different pass keys, but for that, you're going to have to set up Windows Solo pin, first of all. And of course, more information about pass keys or these passwordless improvements will be in the article below or on the official Microsoft blog post if you're interested. Related to voice access, Microsoft is temporarily disabling support for Japanese to fix some bugs that were mentioned in previous builds. Also in the European economic area, related to default apps, if you go to default apps and for example select a browser in the European economic area as I've said, the new default browser will be pinned to the taskbar and start menu unless you choose not to pin it by clearing the checkboxes. So I think that is a nice change. In this build, Microsoft is also testing out the new administrator protection security feature and of course if you want to check out more information about this and also how to enable it you can check out phantom of earth on twitter or x.com let's now talk about a few fixes in this build first of all related to the file explorer microsoft fixed an issue which could cause file explorer home to crash potentially also making file explorer crash on launch since home is the default section for file explorer and they also fixed an issue which could cause the thumbnail for a pen favorite in home to disappear and in file explorer microsoft also fixed the issue causing file explorer to not persist view changes after the last dev channel flights including desktop icons. Related to the start menu, Microsoft fixed an issue which was causing duplicate entries to appear when interacting with folders on the start menu and they also fixed an issue where the folder expand animation wasn't correct in some cases. Related to input, Microsoft fixed a high hitting CTF mod.exe crash in the latest flights which could impact the ability to type. Some other in general fixes, Microsoft fixed a memory leak which could happen when lock screen was set to use a slideshow which could impact performance and reliability over time. And they also did some work improving how dialogues and the system react to increased text scaling. For example, the you must restart your computer to apply these changes dialog should now support it. So this was basically the video for today and the build for today. We finally get 25H2 on the dev channel. Of course, as I've said, for more information, you can check out the article below, the official Microsoft blog post, or Phantom of Earth on Twitter or x.com. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.